Hey, good morning. Thank you for joining me for another Tea Time with Shelton. Well, today what I want to talk to you about is a location that we investigated. Um, this location is actually an active church, so I can't tell you the name of the church. I can tell you it's in the Toledo area and it's in Ohio, and it's a Catholic church. But it is a, an a, um, active church, and we were asked to go in and investigate these claims that they're having. So some of these claims are um, hearing somebody singing, hearing somebody whistling, walking, um, talking, almost sounding like they're in prayer. Um, it's so hard to describe this situation without being able to tell you where it is. Um, very typical haunting type of thing, but inside a church. So when we went there, it was in the wintertime 2017. And immediately when you walk in, if you can sense energy, you'll sense it there. And there could be a million different reasons why for a church. So we start setting up our SLS cameras and our static cameras and everything going. So at one point in the night, we were over by the uh, confession booths and an image came up on the SLS cam. So I stood next to it to kind of map myself out with this image as well. And then I stood off from it and I was asking it to like lift its hand or, um, lift a leg or something like that and it was doing it on command so that was a really interesting experience with the SLS cam and I don't have very many pleasant experiences with it but that would be one of very few times that I was impressed with the SLS or I was encouraged that maybe it could get something so other than that, um, there was at one point where, and I told everybody, and Chris is going to kill me for talking about this, Tillman, but I told everybody, this is a church. You respect the church. Do not cuss in this church, anything like that. Well, there was at one point where apparently um, Chris was down in um, the sanctuary area, and he was either trying to put his camera together or... So, lost his camera, something had happened, and he ended up cussing. And right after he cussed, on EVP, you can hear something say, Shh, God is watching. So that was a really cool catch, hearing somebody remind him, Hey, dude, you're in church. So that was really cool. Uh, we even told the priest about that. And they got a kick out of that and thought it was pretty funny. Um, another really cool experience was going up into the bell tower. I went all the way up into through the bell tower. And it is really neat. There's these catwalks through the way up high. I mean, it was really cool. It was really dark, but it was really cool. And we got a lot of really good EVPs up there. Um, we had a female that was talking to one of the male investigators up there. Um, let me think what else. I think there was whistling that was caught on EVP up there. Um, what else was caught? Um, almost caught a bat. There were some bats up there. That was pretty neat. Some of the female investigators wouldn't go up there because of the bats, but, you know. I'm an explorer. I have to go everywhere, do everything. So I went up there. And when I went into the basement, that was really cool. Went into this basement area, and I saw this white, foggy mist type thing. It was small. Um, I wasn't sure what it was, and it was moving. So I was chasing it down, and, and I told somebody that it had some energy to it. And... I was going to follow it. I felt like it was some type of spirit or something. And at one point, um, I stopped in my tracks because 
where it was and it stopped, it suddenly disappeared. And, and I was at that spot where it had disappeared and I could feel it right there, but I couldn't see it. And it was nowhere else and I couldn't see it anywhere else. And then we ended up looking down and there was a skeleton of a cat right under there. So that was pretty interesting. Maybe I was chasing down the spirit of somebody's cat. I don't know. But that was pretty cool. There's also allegations in this church that um, there was a mob shooting out in front. And we are still digging through a lot, a lot of history and a lot of articles about this. So we want to make sure to get all our facts straight before we truly announce the names and exactly what had happened. But um, so far... People that are involved in the church know about it, and um, priests there had known about it, but we just want to make sure that we have all our facts straight before we kind of spill the beans and remind people about history that happened there. So that would be pretty cool. I mean, unfortunate that it happened, but pretty cool if um, we can get all of what we're trying to get for this. So what else happened there? Um... Oh, when we were in the uh, chapel area, we were sitting there, and Rose Shelton was there and a couple other investigators, and we were doing this spirit box, and we have it going, and um, it was really interesting because I had said something like, do you know where we are, or do you know where you are, something like that, and over the spirit box, for a good four or five seconds, was church bells playing out. It was very strange. Uh, I had never heard that before on Spirit Box. I've never heard church bells. And after a few more questions, we asked again, do you know where we are or where are we kind of thing? And then the church bells rang again for a good couple seconds. It had to be like about four or five seconds. And Every single one of us had complete chills. I mean, that was really cool that it just shocked us. I mean, I, I'm i still kind of baffled about it. I'm still kind of like, I can't believe that happened. I had never, in my wildest dreams, would have expected church bells from a spirit box. So that was really, really cool. Um, probably my favorite thing to happen that night. And I know that makes me cringe to say it because, you know, I don't really go by spirit box all that often. And I think I've only had two or three experiences on spirit box that I can say, wow, damn, that was impressive. So that was one of them. That was definitely one of them. So it was a fantastic time at the church. And a lot of really cool EVPs. I'm talking about a, like a page or two front and back that we got of EVPs there. We were really, really surprised. The only other place that I got that many EVPs, actually not that many, um, it's, it's still, this other place takes the record for how many EVPs, but that was the Bone House. So um, that was the only other location that I was so blown away at all the um, EVPs and stuff, but a, a very extremely active place. Was it the Bone House? Nah, I don't think any location, prison, anything is going to match the stuff that we get at the Bone House, but nonetheless, very cool, very cool place. So, okay, thank you so much for joining me for a Tea Time with Shelton, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Happy hauntings, guys. Oh, don't forget to like our page and subscribe to our YouTube.